Hey Cheddarholic Kits fans, it's Scrap and Ames here. I am up <coughs> with my first June uh, project for you, and for this one, I am using a completely plain white cardstock background. Uh, a bit of a challenge set by our fearless leader, Steph. I must admit, this was a little bit challenging for me because there were so many gorgeous 12 by 12 papers to use in the kit this month. Um, those beautiful Emerson Lane and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the Heidi Spot ones were absolutely gorgeous and would have fitted so perfectly with my layout. Uh, so I did struggle. I managed to incorporate some of those in by doing some paper layers behind my photo. So I did sneak them in a little bit. Um, but what I have here is a gorgeous photo of my son with my nephew. Uh, they are born on the same day. Um, but as you can see, my son is older than my nephew. And they're going in for a bit of a schmooky kiss. Uh, this photo was taken nearly 12 months ago. Um, uh, when my sister came down with my nephew to visit. And so I'm finally getting around to scrapping it. Now, this paper here, I was really drawn to. I love the patterns in this paper. And I thought it was perfect. Um, but then, because I've got the white cardstock background, and then I've already done the one layer that was pale, I decided that I would... I needed something dark to break between the pale layer and the white cardstock background already. So I went with this gorgeous, gorgeous, um, I think it's the Emerson Lane one, yeah, um, paper. Oh, this flower paper is my, one of my, I don't know, maybe there's a few faves in this, this kit this month. Um, but I definitely loved it. And although you don't actually see the floral pattern, you can see the colours. So I was still quite happy with that. Now, I did go with the lighter colours because of the darkness in the boys' jumpers in this photo. And I wasn't worried about the whole, you know, oh, it's a bit of pink and things like that because... <clears throat> um, a lot of the kit is very dark with the wolf pack. Um, is it wolf pack? Why do I feel like I'm calling it the wrong name? Hang on. Why do I feel? Let me have a look. Hang on. I'm rummaging through my kit here. Why do I feel like I'm calling it? I feel like I'm calling. Oh, I'm calling the right name. Right, so I kind of lost my spot. I had to uh, pause and come back. Now, I think I was talking about my pattern paper. I think I was saying about how I had to put a light, I wanted to put a darker pattern paper as my last photo mat to break up between the photo and the, um, the pattern paper, uh, sorry, the white paper background. Anyway. So, we got these envelopes in the main kit, uh, the Heidi Swap envelopes. And whilst I have another secret plan as per my unboxing, which isn't really a secret, um, I thought I would try and use one in here on this layout as a bit of a secret pocket. So, um, I have popped it in behind my photo. Now, at the moment, nothing is actually stuck down. I am just playing around. Um, I had actually pulled some of the ephemera out from both the exclusive kit or pack, sorry, and the Heidi Swap Wolf Pack die cut pack. Wow, that was a bit of a tongue twister. Uh, just some pieces that I thought sort of tied in a little bit with what I was scrapping, uh, just to make it, the process a bit quick. For me i really liked there's a lot of um these is it acetate well there was a mix of the acetate and vellum that's the other one could not think of it for the life of me which are really tricky to stick down i find because you either need to use clear glue but then they can crinkle but if you use tape then you can see through it so ugh, it's the first world scrappy problems so i kind of just thought well i'm gonna see how i go so this is what i did anyway um, I used my 
clear glue which is like a Tombow kind of glue to stick these pieces down the acetate pieces oh god I said, oh actually acetate and the vellum just to confuse everyone here I have had one of those days and my head is just not working um all right what am I doing hmm. oh I'm committing to sticking everything down because I sort of started to fluff around a bit and I thought you know what let's just get some things onto paper so I start sticking down my I've stuck the frame down I've stuck the envelope down and now I'm going to pop up my photo on some craft foam just to give it a little bit of dimension give it a little bit of lift up off that white background and I pop the photo down in the bottom corner kind of thing here because the boys so my son who's the oldest one in the picture is kind of coming out of the bottom corner of the photo if you kind of look at it that way so I thought it it, it sort of fits better in this bottom right um, I thought anyway um, I could have popped it in the middle and I was gonna put it at the top in the top right corner but I thought no I like it in this bottom corner it sort of sits better the, the sort of um, I don't know what the word is oh, it's evading my mind yeah the way that the photo sort of the the, oh, the way that the the faces are sitting in the picture and things like I cannot think of the word ah. anyway oh, mine's in a million places swear to goodness you know that that meme you see on facebook that um or around the place and it's got like you know a woman's mind's like a computer with you know a thousand tabs open that is my brain today i have had a million things going through my mind today uh this video is running late as a dt my design team project and it's you know is just all kinds of messed up today with work and my, i've got sick children and it's just like yeah, mummy brain Ugh. but anyway it's getting there the day is nearly over and we can start again as long as it's not groundhog day i'm okay tangent keep rolling with it amy all right sorry guys told you it was crazy so i decided that i would i liked the idea of scattering a few bits and pieces there's lots of little pieces in the Heidi Swap wolf pack die cut pack oh my god there's that tongue tie again uh, so I thought I would scatter some of those bits of ephemera around the page um, with little clusters possibly in places so this would be my first little cluster um, I loved this um, vellum I think this is a vellum piece and I said I think it says part of the pack or something um, and I loved it and then I thought it needed something around it because it did curl a little bit at the edge where I've put the glue uh, which annoys the living daylights out of me but I really don't know how else best to stick it down without seeing everything like if you stick double-sided tape you can see it and oh and you could use a stapler yes I know but then you can see the staples and I didn't I just wanted really clean a clean look because I've got the white background um, so to me it just needed to be a bit clean cut I was going to do a bit of mixed media and then change my mind anyway so then I had this little tree um, die cut and it says my pack and I thought oh that looks really cool uh, and then these little I think these were the acetate pieces those little paw prints are acetate uh, and I felt something needed just to trickle down the side here on this right side. So I popped the paw prints, I think. It was really tricky. There's lots of little pieces, like mixed in with some larger pieces of ephemera. But I have to say, considering the size of like the crepe paper ephemera packs and, and that, the Heidi Swap one here isn't all that big, which I was really happy with. I don't mind the littler pieces. Um, so they're quite quite well sized so that's good and then we've got a mix of our printables which had the perfect phrases Ooh, sorry they 
had it was just gorgeous some of these like there was little the little phrases that said like the little word stickers that said like kisses and family and snapshot or something and they were just perfect for this so I went to use some of these photo tab corners I couldn't decide which ones I liked and then if I actually liked them at all uh, on the photo changed my mind don't like it at all but liked them in the corner felt it gave I actually felt that having them just in those two corners um, and I don't know if that's what they're actually called but I'm calling them photo tabs um, it kind of gave the page a border without giving it a border if that makes sense so I didn't need to do I probably could have but didn't do a doodly border um, so it gave it a bit of a, a border and a definition to the edge um, being that it's all white and as you can see uh, and what you'll see at the end there's no grounding of everything into the center so they kind of do that oh my big head's in the way excuse me oh there was these gorgeous little star pieces as well is that what I was picking up I think they're little stars in the little pack there's these little silvery colored stars they're absolutely stunning I really liked them so I just add that as a I guess kind of like a little trickly you know sprinkly clustery kind of down this side of the page and I think that just finishes that side off without you know looking too bare <clears throat> Now I do fluff around a little bit with what's going to go in the bottom corner here. Uh, I want to balance out the um, uh, I did want to balance out the the um, cluster I've got going in the top corner. So I build one down the bottom here. Uh, at first I wasn't sure what I was going to use. Uh, so I, as I said, I took a bit too much. I edited out for you. Uh, build this one down the bottom and find the right pieces. And in the end, I find everything that I was happy with and love it. So, and in that time, I've obviously added some more bits and pieces as well around the page. That must have cut out on me. So I've got the camera and the sprinkler stars at the top corner in the left there and then I had some more down the bottom underneath the photo on the right and the title so this was a challenge I wanted to use I always like to use what we've got on hand but I actually really struggled with these stickers I didn't know this month's stickers here that I've got from the kit or the main kit um, so I ended up pulling in from some word stickers that we had all uh, alphabet stickers that we had from a previous kit and just uh, made my title using a mix of this month's and a previous month's because that's all I could really use and now I'm just going to do write on the journaling card um, it's going to go in the envelope here I have attached some of the aqua blue twine that I have in my stash just so you can see it in the envelope to slide it out I think I add some stars from the kit just to make it pretty what am I doing here and I think am I nearly done Oh my god. Decisions, decisions. I must be undeciding. It was a bit late. Um, 
what am I doing here? Uh, what am I still trying to decide? Oh, letting the glue dry. That's what I'm playing around with. And trying to decide what else can go on my layout. I was like trying to figure out what I was fluffing around doing. Jeez Louise. And I've put some little printable um, of the exclusives on the top of that envelope. Just to really highlight that that envelope is there and to be used. Um, I want to make sure that whoever opens this layout knows that that is to be opened. Um, and I really like the way this layout looks. Um, but as much as I love the, my clean layouts I had to add some sparkly uh, splatters so I've used the Kayser Craft turquoise spray and I've just splattered some of those sprays um, some of that ink spray across just from my stash and then it is completed so I've got some lovely close-up photos here I hope you like my first project and I will see you again next week with my next one thanks guys so much for watching stay tuned Bye for now.